Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a favorites video, but specifically around breastfeeding and postpartum faves, because basically I'm doing everything as I normally do on this channel, but just making it parenting related. What fun, that's all that is in my brain right now. But maybe some of you are pregnant or new parents and perhaps you will find this useful some of my recommendations, things that I have liked being useful to me. Let's start with the breastfeeding specific stuff. So probably my absolute favorite, favorite, absolute essential, and I don't use the word essential lightly, is this nipple cream. Oh my goodness, as you can see, I basically used the entire thing up and I bought a whole other one of these because I was like, I'm gonna need more of this. But by the time I got around to completely finishing this one, breastfeeding had gotten easier and I didn't need it anymore. But when I needed this, there was a point where I was applying it basically after every feed. And then we got to applying it just in the evening and then in the morning. But holy hell, this one specifically, Lansino, is one that my midwife recommended because you don't have to take it off before you breastfeed. So like if it's on your nipples and then your baby's like, I want more food, because that's what they say, like literally out their mouth, then you don't have to worry about removing it because this is safe for them. Excellent. Next up, we've got some reusable nipple nursing pads. My mum slash Santa got me these. <laughs> for Christmas. I think they're just from Boots and they're great. They do what they say on the tin. I'm still wearing these even though I don't really leak anymore, but I'm just scared that the day that I forget to wear them will be the day that I leak everywhere. But there were definitely lots of leakages at the beginning. But these are super handy. They come in like a little bag and then you just throw them in the wash. I think maybe you're supposed to wash them more often than I. I kind of tend to wash them once they get a bit crusty. Oops. This is the LV Curve. Now, disclaimer, I've done some sponsored work with LV, but I bought this with my own money and that work is entirely separate to this. This is like one of those like suctiony milk collector things. So I only really used this at the beginning before I started like properly pumping, but essentially this can catch letdown, but because it's also a suction thing, like it creates a suction, it catches the letdown and then some. And I found this really cool <laughs> at the beginning because I was like, oh my God, my milk. But you just put it on the other boob that you're not breastfeeding on and it fits really nice and snugly in your bra. But this is really handy to kind of like start building up a bit of a freezer stash and also just like having some milk ready and available. Because I was using this when Rowan was really young, we were occasionally giving him top up feeds with formula. But then because I started collecting some of my breast milk via this, we could give him top up bottle feeds with expressed breast milk instead. But speaking of pumping and the main pump that I'm currently using and has worked really well for me. It is currently dirty because I literally just pumped before filming this video, but it is the Medela Freestyle double electric pump. Now, these double electric pumps are really expensive. I did quite a lot of research and looking at reviews before I decided what I wanted to spend all of that money on. But it's a pretty basic electric pump. You got your nipple thingies that you put on your boob and then you stick them on them and then you put the bottle on here and then that collects the milk. I also bought from the same brand. It doesn't come with this, unfortunately. One of these like bra things, so you can go hands-free, it just like suctions you in and has these holes for the pump. What fun. And yes, when this first arrived at my door, of course I put this on and took a photo of myself with just my nipples poking through and it looked hilarious. But this has worked really well for me. When Rowan is in childcare, I just do like one 10 minute pump and then like wash it all and rinse it all. And it's been working really 
well. It also came with a very cute little freezer bag and like freezer block thing. So it's been handy for like out and about. And when we were on holiday and I'd done some pumping whilst on holiday and I had some milk that I hadn't used yet, we were able to, in that freezer bag, take my express breast milk on the plane. Next up is this maternity pillow. So you may remember this from my like pregnancy faves video, but I have essentially made myself a breastfeeding throne on this sofa with this pillow and I love it. It's excellent. This thing has seen me through some good times and some bad times, but really handy. Like get as comfy as you can when breastfeeding and this is the way that I do it. So another kind of breastfeeding adjacent favorite is this giant chest freezer that Dan and I got for our kitchen. When it first arrived, I did not realize how big it was going to be and I almost made Dan send it back. But I conceded and actually it has been excellent. Our freezer space in this flat isn't a lot and with storing breast milk but then also you know being new parents and not often having a lot of time to cook food especially like me trying to eat lunch by myself whilst looking after Rowan this massive chest freezer that is filled with frozen portions of food that Dan has bulk cooked and in our fridge freezer situation there is an entire drawer that is just breast milk. So that's really handy for the breast milk storage, but also just really handy for eating very quickly and like having meals ready to go when you don't have time to cook. So shout out to the giant chest freezer. Also very excited that I can now start collecting magnets because our fridge freezer is like one of those ones that's like built into a cupboard, so it's not magnetic, but our new freezer is magnetic. And so I'm getting on that magnet train and I love it. And finally in the breastfeeding category is this nursing dress from Jojo Mama Bebe. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but just that bougie baby maternity shop. So I am planning on making a whole video about like breastfeeding, nursing and postpartum outfits that I've worn during the fourth trimester. And most of the like new clothes that I've bought have all been secondhand. But this I think has maybe been one of a few things that I've bought like brand new and I'm very pleased with this purchase. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous long dress. I did have to get it taken up because I am very short, but it is specific for nursing. So if I can show you here, it's got like a hole on the booby side and then you can whip your tit out right here whilst keeping your dress on. Very exciting. But I've worn this loads and I even wore it to a friend's wedding. And so I could feel like all fancy, but also like ready with the tit if Rowan needed a feed. Okay, on to some more general postpartum faves. So I think I did mention this in my Hormone Diaries postpartum video, but those C-section disposable knickers were so handy, so soft. I think the brand that I used was called Frida, Frida Mum or something. I'm sure there's lots of other brands that do them, but those ones that I had were very soft and very useful. Speaking of underwear, once most of my bleeding had stopped, but there was still like a little bit come in here and there. I then transitioned to my trusty period underwear and disclaimer, these have been gifted to me from Wooker because I've previously done some like sponsored Instagram posts and stuff with them. But I love these and yeah, I wore them loads in those like first few weeks postpartum when I was still bleeding but didn't want to be wearing like disposable underwear or disposable pads anymore. Excellent. Slight shift. My next favorite is a book and it is Don't Forget to Scream, Unspoken Truths About Motherhood by Marianne Levy. It's a bunch of different essays all about motherhood. So I'm currently about this far through and I am taking the odd opportunity I get to like read them. It's quite nice that it's just like essays because then you just like can read that chunk and then be done. You don't have to remember where you're at in the plot. But my favorite essays in it so far are Perfect and Maths. And those two just make me laugh a lot. And there are others that like are really sad and others that are like really make you feel a lot of anger at the system. But very excellent, would recommend. The next thing again is a 
postpartum adjacent favorite. And I just need to admit to you all now that I have gone back to my plasticky, chemically deodorant. In a favorites video a while back, I think I talked about this like natural, non-plasticky packaged, like scoop it out the pot and put it on your armpits deodorant that was working really well for me until experiencing postpartum in the heat that we have had this summer. It just wasn't cutting it. The natural stuff couldn't work as hard as this. And I was like, do you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna buy this and just see if it's the deodorant or if it's just me. And literally like the first day that I started using this again, I was like, oh, I'm not sweating at all. Oh, oh, oh. So here I am to say that I love this plastic chemically thing. My next favorites are two baby parent activities that I have been doing. Rowan has only just gotten to the age where it would be like good for him or he would at least be able to like get something out of and interact with like some of these like baby sensory classes and stuff. But I haven't really gone to any of those, but I have been going to like things that are for the parent, but are just baby friendly. So recently I started going to postnatal Pilates where babies are welcome and that is lots of fun, even though sometimes I don't often get to do all of the class because Rowan needs feeding or he just needs holding. But the people at the place that I go to are so wonderful. And sometimes the staff out in reception will like take babies if they're being fussy and just need to be held whilst the parent <laughs> in the class like can do the rest of the class, which I'm just like, thank you. And the other thing is baby cinema. And if you like films, I would highly recommend like seeing if you can find baby friendly screenings near to you. Cinemas that I've found in London that do it are The Picture House and Everyman. And they'll just have like one film a week where you can bring your baby. And I got to see Thor this way. I got to see Where the Crawdads Sing this way. And it's so good because you get to watch a film, but also no one's gonna get mad at you if your baby starts crying or if you're just like breastfeeding in the theater. Like it is excellent. I'm really sad now that Rowan's childcare clashes with the timings of most of the screenings that are near me, but hey, I got in a few good baby cinema sessions and I'm happy about it. Also excellent whilst in the summer and the cinemas have air conditioning, so that was also good. Speaking of baby activities though, a fave of mine is this like app slash website called Happity. And I think they mostly serve the like London area, but I know they recently went through like a round of investment and funding as a startup to try and like get to more places in the UK. But essentially you can just like put in the age of your child and put in your postcode and then it comes up with like all of the activities that you can do like in your local area. And I've found that so useful for finding things to do and keep me occupied. And, you know, going forwards now that Rowan's a bit older, like things to do with him as well. So also connected to this whole like happy and baby activities thing. And I think I mentioned this in the Patreon Discord server, but I am a complete stereotype of myself but in the middle of the night breastfeeding to try and keep myself awake, I created a weekly baby activity timetable in Notion. So this isn't like a timetable of like, this is where me and Rowan are going to be at all of these times. It's more just like my curation of all of the activities that are available to us. And so then if it happens to be like a Friday morning and I'm like, God, I'm so bored, what can we go and do? I just check my timetable. I'm like, ah, this thing. And then off we go. To be honest, I think I maybe loved creating my timetable more than I have used said timetable, but it's still a definite fave. And I'm excited to kind of like edit it to things that are more relevant to Rowan as well, like as he gets older. And also now that we are settling into more of a schedule with my work and his childcare, knowing exactly like when we're free to like do things together. Some people said they might be interested in a template of this so you can create your own. I'm not entirely sure how to do that, but I'm sure I can figure it out if enough people are interested. 
So do let me know in the comments if that's something you want. And of course, like it's a timetable template for whatever. It doesn't have to be for your baby activities. That's just like what I use it for. So those are all of my breastfeeding and postpartum faves. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do you use any of the things that I have spoken about? Do you have any of your own recommendations? Do share them in the comments. I hope that you're doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.